All right, let's talk about login managers on Linux. So a login manager, or it's more commonly known as a display manager, but to be honest, that's a really bad name. I feel like I like login manager a lot better. And because a login manager is basically going to be the screen that you get whenever you're first logging into your computer. And so you can install a nice graphical application if you want an experience like Mac OS or Windows, something like that, where it has a nice background image, some animations, and a nice little text field for you to type in your password. And you can do that. I might do a video on one of those later. But the one that I personally use is LY right here. And it looks something like this. Or I can actually show you in my terminal. It looks like this whenever I'm logging into my session. And so you might hear some people say that you don't really need a login manager or a display manager. You can just log in from the TTY. And you can do that, that works fine. But I actually like to have this nice little screen. I mean, it's honestly not much to look at but it is a little bit nicer than just a blank terminal window. So this is a nice middle ground. I don't need all the complexities of a giant graphical login manager, but I like to have something a little bit nicer than just the terminal or the TTY. And so in this video, I'll just show you how you can get a nice login manager like this. And so you just start up your computer, it'll enter you into something like this. You can put in your password, it will save your username, and you can tell it to start up a specific desktop environment or maybe a window manager. So I can just scroll through this and I can tell it to run my xinitrc file in order to start up everything. I also have i3 window manager in here. I can just start it up in the shell if I'd like to. And so you can just scroll through all of these and it makes it easy to select a graphical environment to boot up into. All right, but first let's install this. So I will leave a link to this in the description, this GitHub page, because you probably can get it from your official package manager. So in my case, I'm on Arch Linux, so I can just install it with dash s ly, and that works fine for me. But if it's not available in your distribution, then you may need to build it from source. It's not very difficult. What you're going to want to do is download all these dependencies, and you probably do have all of these installed by default. If you want to make sure if you're on Debian, you can run this as an installer. But once you're done with that, you can just come down here and git clone it, make it, and install it. So it's gonna be a very basic installation. And then once you have it installed, you're just going to want to start it with systemd. Start it and enable it. It will also work on other init systems besides just systemd. But for this example, let's just go sudo systemctl and then enable ly.service. And you're also going to want to start it as well. So let's run this as well. And once you enable it here, it should start up every time that you start up your computer. You may also have to disable another login manager if you were using something before and would like to switch to this. And so if you're using a window manager like say i3 or something like that, then you should be good to go. But if you do use something like maybe BSPWM or just anything where you start it with a xinitrc file. So I have a .xinitrc file in my home directory and this is just my startup script. And so whenever I want it to start X, it will run all these different programs and also BSPWM. And so whenever I run LY, it's going to show XinitRC. And so that's basically going to start up BSPWM or whatever you have in your XinitRC file. In order for this to work, you do need to do one more thing if you haven't already. You will need to make this file executable. So let's say chmod plus X and then dot XinitRC. Once you've done this, then everything should start up fine. And that's basically all that you need to do. Now, there are a few additional settings that you can add if you would like to. These are totally optional, so if you like the default look, then you don't really need to change anything. But you can find the settings file. It's going to be under slash etsy slash ly slash config.ini. So just open it up with your favorite text editor. I'm running sudo vim to open this so I can change it once I'm inside. And there's going to be a whole bunch of different options right here. Most of these you probably don't need to touch. Okay, but I do need to show you this one thing, and that is the animation right here. So you might be wondering what this will do. Let me just show you. I think I also have to say animation zero. And then once I start up LY again, I'm going to get this crazy fire effect in the background. To be honest, I have no idea why the developers included this as a background. I guess if you want some uh, PlayStation 1 Doom fire effect, in your terminal whenever you start up your computer, then you could add this. 
For me, personally, this is way too extra for a login screen, but I guess that is kind of cool. If you want something like this, that is definitely something, but let me just exit out of this right now. And let's comment these back. I'm never going to actually use that, but it is cool, I guess. And besides the fire effect, you can also just change the character used to mask the password. So if you don't want stars covering up your password, then you can change it to O's or whatever else. You can change the background color. Uh, I will go more into detail on that later because it's not quite as easy as just changing this and the background color will change, so I'll go more into that later. But the rest of these are going to be pretty self-explanatory. So for example, if you wanted to remove the border around the login box, then you can change this to true. And the only option that I've actually changed is the save option. And this will save the current desktop and login as defaults. So I don't want to type in my username every single time. I, I want it to remember that. And I want it to remember which window manager I want to use to boot into. So that will just save all of that. And it might already save it by default. I'm not sure, but I just set this to true just to make sure. And then of course, once you change any of these settings, you're also going to want to restart it or restart the service with sudo systemctl restart ly.service. So just do that just to make sure that all your changes go into effect. All right, and last but not least, let's talk about colors. So whenever I start this in my terminal, uh, I have the nice terminal color scheme that I'm currently using. It's not exactly black on white, it's more blue on white, but I like this color scheme. And whenever you first boot into your TTY, then it's not going to have this color scheme, of course. This color scheme is only going to apply to this terminal emulator. And of course, you're not booting into a terminal emulator. Whenever you log into your computer, you're going to boot into your TTY. So if you do actually want to change the colors, you're going to have to change them in your TTY. Now, you might be wondering how you can actually do that. And the easiest way I found to change the colors of your TTY, at least for this login manager right here, it's going to be to go into slash lib slash systemd slash system ly.service. So this is the systemd file. This is what you created whenever you ran systemctl enable ly.service. So this is what it'll all give you by default. And if you wanna change the colors, all you have to do is add this one line right here. So before exec start, we want to add an exec start pre. That's just saying before we start up ly, then we want to run this command as well. So we want to print f, uh, all of this jargon right here. And what this is basically telling it to do is to change the first color into this hexadecimal value. So this is just a hex color. I can change this to FFFFFF if I want it to be completely white. And this is saying we want to change the seventh color or the foreground color to this hexadecimal value right here. So this will be the text color and this will be the background color. And once you change this, this looks a little bit convoluted, but uh, basically I just copied this from a GitHub issue. Somebody asked the same question and so I'll, I'll leave a link to the same GitHub issue if you just want to copy and paste this command because it's a little unintuitive, I'll be honest. But you would just change this to the background color you desire and you would change this to the foreground color you desire. You might want to restart it with systemctl as well just to make sure that those changes go into effect. And so once you add these, then you can get the same terminal color scheme that you know and love in your TTY as well just to make your login manager look a little bit better. It's not that important, but Aesthetics are nice, I guess. And of course, you can just test out how it looks with LY right here. So you're not going to be able to see the color scheme that you just changed it to if you're in a terminal emulator, but you can play around with all the different options and see how it will look just with LY. And then of course, once you restart your computer, you'll get the full experience. But this is just what I like and recommend. If you have any other login managers that you like, maybe you can post them in the comments. Maybe I'll check them out and do a video about them sometime. But this is just a nice minimal login manager it's a little bit nicer than just typing startx whenever you log in. So if you're looking for something simple as well, I would recommend checking out LY.